Hi guys, Mike Rue here. This is my From Zero to Hero series. This is week five and day six. It's clue time. We go and crack out our hard clues, do some skilling and do some other bits and pieces. So let's get right into this video. Starting today off doing a little bit of AFK and Spiritual Warriors while editing and stuff so we can make a bit of money while editing. Probably we'll do this for like two, three hours, however long it takes me to make the video. Then we'll take a look at the Wealth Evaluator and see how much GP we're at. And then we can invest some more money in double XP as well. 106 magic. We're actually getting a lot of virtual levels in, to be honest. Very happy. Time to do a little bit of rune span. We are 70 runecrafting. Probably get a level or two and then go do something a bit more active like clue scrolls. Hey, 73 runecrafting. I'm quite enjoying skilling right now. Runecrafting is so slow, I'm a little bit bored of it, so now I'm going to go train some of our other stats, maybe some fire making, wood cutting, mining, fishing, something like that. Let's try and get some more stats to 80. We have those 800 U logs and those 250 magics, we might as well use those up, do a bit of fire making, see how far we can get. There's 78 fire making and we're going to go do some clue scrolls now. See if we can make some money. Hopefully we can get a nice amount of fortunate components. And if we can get that big ticket item, we are going to be very, very happy. So let's get cracking with those hard clues I have and those two masters. Might not be able to do the masters, but I'll give them a try. In order to do hard clues, I need to get the sextant, the compass and all of that. So we travel to the observatory. We can talk to the professor, ask him about treasure trials. And then he'll tell us that we need the certain items, blah, blah, blah. And we can go get those. So I thought I'd come speak to Murphy to get the sextant. And then I think you would speak to someone in the clock tower for the other stuff. But apparently I've got it all on my tool belt already. Maybe after speaking to the professor now, they just give it to you. That's kind of cool. So at least now we know I have it all unlocked just by speaking to the professor in the observatory. They must have removed the need to travel around to get it. I guess that makes sense. Now off to do my hard glues. Now they have hidey holes. What I did is I bought steel nails, teak planks and some items for those hidey holes. So now I can go to the cat door pyramid with a ring of life, amulet of glory and addy two hander with the planks and the nails, and it will make me a hidey hole, which I can then use to take the items out. This saves bank space and saves a lot of hassle. I'll show you what I mean when I get there, and I'm gonna do that every single time I have a clue that requires outfits. It saves a lot of effort. What we do is we equip the three items, go to our emotes, and we dance. Obviously, you gotta kill the double agent, so I just switch back to my obliteration, kill him. Then we speak to Yuri and he'll give us our next part of our clue. But over here, there is this hidey hole crate. Just click on it, create the hidey hole, click to fill it and you put your items inside there. So now whenever I come here, I don't have to bring the items with me or bank for them. I can just come here, take them out, do the emote, put them back in. When you have the full outfit for treasure trials as well, you don't even have to take them out of here. You can just do the emote, which is amazing. Anyway, carrying on with my clues. I had to get the ogre relic from the start of the watchtower quest. Took like five minutes to get it. No time at all. Now I've got this ogre relic. I can get to this next part of the clue that I was given. I thought I might as well get it done because if I ever get this clue again, I'll always be able to do it now. The only one that I might not be able to do would be the Legends Quest one. I don't really feel like doing the Legends Quest to get that like part of the clue complete. When it's so close to double XP and stuff, I want to focus on money. So if I do get that clue, I'll have to drop it. But then the next clue you start starts on however many clue steps you're already in. So if you are four steps in and you drop a clue... When you start the new one, it will already be four steps in. So you don't lose any progress, which is good. You just lose that clue. So I guess it's a shame I'll have to lose a couple of clues if I get the Legends one. But things like this, I'm going to do because they're nice and easy. So I can just give the Ogre Relic to one of these guards. Then he'll let me through this gate. And the part of the clue is at the end of this path. I just got to dig. 
So now in the future I can always do this coordinate clue, which is very, very nice. I bought some Clock Tower, Polnivnich and Lumberyard teleports as they're very useful to use with hard clues. Like I've got the Lumberyard clue right now. Teleporting straight there is insanely quick because you just squeeze under the fence and the box is right here that I search for the clue. So it gets the hard clues done much quicker. Okay, it costs a little bit of money, but it's worth the time you save. While doing this clue, I noticed that my papaya trees are grown, so I'm going to do a farm run after this clue is finished. Then I'll continue the clue grind, and that farm run should hopefully get me to 74 farming. There we go, our first ever hard clue. Let's open it up and see what we get. 191k, nothing spectacular at all. Not bad, though. Time to go do our farm run, hopefully get 74 farming, then back to doing hard clues. This is pretty fun. I love clues. A nice cool little feature they have now is if you exchange with the tall leprechaun and you like give him all of your super compost, you can give it to him noted and it's nice and easy to deposit all. Then just right click compost with him, say super compost and then you can pay for as many as you want. So I'll just ask him to pay for 94 of them because that's how many super composts I gave him. Then I'll just have to go buy more once these are used up. Hey, 74 farming coming in. Now we can get some progress towards 75. So then hopefully when double XP hits, we can do magics and palm trees if we have enough money. Worst comes to the worst, we'll just continue doing our ewes and our papayas and still get double XP. Oh, that was lovely. I was just doing my papaya tree in Laletia and I got a large protein pack with my skill in backpack. That's 300 protein hides. Nice. So like, am I going to get demonetized or something if I show this? Hey, look, it's a wizard. But if you look at his arm, that doesn't look like an arm. That looks like something it really should not look like. Uh, YouTube, it's an arm, okay? It's nothing bad, yes? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Moving on. Wait, wait, I know how to fix this. We can just blow the arm. Easy. That's better. Fortunate component, 376k. 84k. That's a reroll if I've ever seen one. 121k, a bit better. We got some more clock tower teleports. Not bad. Oh, right. Nice. Another fortunate component with the rune cane, 365k. Oh, nice. We got a fortunate component and a large XP star. So we can put that in a skill for some extra bonus XP and we've got some money. Double fortunate component, 500k. Yeah, boy. Gonna save that reroll for when we get a bad clue. 135k, let's re-roll that one. 114k, feels bad, man. <laughs> let's carry on. Uh, we got our first clue scroll that we have to drop. It's in the Kazari jungle, and I'm not getting the Legends quest complete, and I don't have all of the quest requirements for it and stuff, so it'd take too long. Unfortunately, we got to drop this one. 331k with a fortunate component, decent. Ah, uh, 168k, we will re-roll this one. 273k with a U combo, not bad. That's a very bare clue scroll. And it's 150k just because we rolled like multiple nature runes and multiple mahogany planks, that's kind of funny. Ah, uh, more trash, fair enough. Ah, uh, 150k, re-roll, let's go. Yeah, double fortunate, 500k, nice. Okay, not that bad. A Zamorak page, 260k. Woo, more trash. Another fortunate component, 267k. We'll keep that re-roll for next time. 150k, let's re-roll that one. And 180k. We profited a little tiny bit. Not the worst. All alcohols, easy money. 137k, moving on to the next one. Go away. 158k sounds about right, but we've got a reroll. Let's reroll it. Come on. Okay, we got a top hat, which is a fortunate component. 352k and a master clue. That means we're going to have three master clues to do, which I'll probably do tomorrow before double XP. I had to do the fishing competition quest to get into this cave just behind where the dwarf is for a part of a clue. Fishing contest is very, very fast, so I thought I'd just get it done. Took like two minutes. Now on to continuing the clue, and this is the last one I'm doing today. 
Ah, uh, we ended it with 117k from a hard clue. Not so great, but we've made a decent amount of money today with the Spiritual Warriors in the morning and these clue scrolls. Plus we got some gains in a couple of different skills. Even skills like rune crafting got a little bit of XP today and that's super slow, so I'm happy getting some progress in that. Taking a look at my wealth evaluator, we're at 217 mil now. So we made a little bit of money, 20, 25 mil today or something, got a bit of XP. Wasn't the longest day ever, but the clues did take a little while and I had to obviously fill up all the hidey holes and do a couple of little things to get some unlocked. So they took a bit longer than expected. Tomorrow, I'm definitely going to do Spiritual Warriors for a fair amount of time, invest all of my money into double XP, show you my double XP plans once everything's been bought and everything's been invested, and I'm going to be showing my plans of my main during double xp weekend as well so look out for that tomorrow and then obviously i won't be making any videos over double xp but when it's finished we'll be showing all three days of double xp like i did this day a weekend either way my stats are on the screen now this is the end of day six two two five five total level we gained a quest point and we gained a bit of money hopefully you did enjoy this video give it a like if you did enjoy this video and the clue scrolls and until tomorrow See ya.